Oh man, say it ain't so. They got Mr. Blue Benjamin. They got Mr. Blue Benjamin, man. They got my boy Pee Wee Longway on a two hundred million dollar drug bust, bro. If there was any rapper that I felt like was still doing this shit, it was Pee Wee Longway. Pee Wee Longway, Mr. Blue Benjamin stacking the tip to infinity. Yo. My cousin like money, man. I was on the Pee Wee Long Way wave, man. God, free Pee Wee, bro. Free Pee Wee. So it says, on Thursday, over 100 individuals were arrested in Columbus, Georgia as part of the Operation Sweet Silence. Damn. That sa that name is fire. Several of these people are being charged federally in the bus, which began two years ago and was looking to target gangs. However, a trove of drugs and weapons were recovered in the operation, including seven 0.1 kilograms of fentanyl, 57 kilos of coke, 55,248 pounds. My man had 25 tons of marijuana. My man had 25 tons of marijuana and 1.3 kilos of heroin. The Muskegee County Sheriff's Office says the total number of drugs was valued at 200 M's. Pee Wee was doing his fucking thing in the streets, bro. Listen. Listen, I'm not condoling. You know how I feel if you've been following me for a minute. You know my, you know my stance on drugs and like, and like, and like, you know, streets and the gang life and stuff like that. My personal opinion: nonviolent, nonviolent crimes. I don't really have a problem with, right? So, I know drugs kind of come into territory. You know, you are dealing with like, you know, gang violence and shooting stuff like that. But like, if you're just a drug dealer, you know what I mean? Like, hey man, you know, do your thing, do your thing. You know, I ain't got no problem with. I ain't got I ain't got too many problems with the with the with my little dealers out here, but let's finish reading it. So it says it's unclear what role Longway may have had in the operation throw, though multiple outlets have reported that he was indeed arrested during the raid. He is known for collaborating with other Atlanta groups, including a thug with Trumpy Kwan Migos and many more. During a press conference, Muskegee County Sheriff uh, Greg Countryman issued a stern warning to gang members and dealers within the community. If you're involved in criminal activity, I want to send this message to you. Just because your name was not caught on the arrest yesterday, I don't want you to relapse. I don't want you to breathe a breath of fresh air, a sigh of relief, because our work is not done. Just because you are not arrested does not mean that we're not looking at you. So don't get too comfortable. So, ooh, damn, I dropped the future line. Because our work is not finished, he firmly stated. Longway's team has not yet spoken about his potential charges. It's unclear if he has been released. Oh, man, Mr. Mr. Blue Benjamin. Pee Wee Longway, man. Pee Wee Longway, bro. Pee Wee freaking Longway, man. That's crazy, man. I like Pee Wee, man. Pee Wee Longway is reported to allegedly battling with his health a, a week ago. Also known as Quincy Williams, a rumor about his hospitalization went viral on different platforms on, on September 6th. The news emerged out of an Instagram post shared by Global Dallas TV stating that he was fighting for his life after reportedly consuming the same drug that was allegedly used by Rich Homie Kwan. Although Pee Wee Longway's recent arrest has created headlines, he was previously involved in a similar trouble in 2014. He was charged with illegal possession of a controlled substance, marijuana, and his performance at the Lux Bar and Grill was canceled for the same. As per XXL Magazine's report on September 1st, a representative for the venue said, while we were setting up the VIP area, I got a call from his manager saying they were 30 minutes away. Next thing I know, he calls back saying they got put on police down the street. While the 40-year-old is well-known as a solo artist, he was previously a part of a group of Felix Brothers. He was also associated with record labels like 1017 and MPA Bandcamp, and has two albums in his credits, including Mr. Blue Benjamin and Long Money. Blue Benjamin's on me the long way. Fucked up, nigga, gotta get back. Quit that sucker shit. <laughs> Quit the sabotage. I catch your bitch here floating. Bro, free Pee Wee Long Way, man. That's crazy, bro. He's caught up on it. Bro, if he's caught up on this, this, this sound like a Rico. This sound like a Rico, man. I just want to say this real quick. I'm getting to the age where I know, like, people are going to probably be like, oh, what are you talking about? But listen, man, here's the deal. I, sh I stay out, bro. I stay home now because I done got caught up in a lot of bullshit. And it's just, it's just nothing but bullshit out there. You got to have enough money to protect yourself, to save yourself from when, you know, push come to shove. I try to stay away from all the drug stuff like that, right? I got a homie, slinging yay, made a lot of money. He also do the um, he do the like credit card thingy. 
be wanting to go to strip clubs off of a, a slave uh, off his slaves cards and stuff like that. You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he that type of thing. You know what I mean? I just don't like dealing with that stuff, man. We get into the page. We get into the age. Get into the time period where people are getting locked up and killed. The rappers are getting locked up and killed. If now is not clearer than ever, there has been an agenda, a very successful agenda to destroy the image and the culture of black Americans. You guys are following down these pathways and y'all are getting killed. Y'all getting overdosed and y'all getting arrested, man. It's probably been like that for a long time. You know, I'm about to be approaching 30 and I'm seeing all these people go down, bro. All these people take off dead, bro. Crazy. Rest in peace. Nipsey, you know what I mean? Fucking, um, who, who was it? Um, Keed, Lil Keed, bro. Lil Keed. Crazy, man. So I've been saying this, bro. People crashing out. People are crashing out and it's starting not to look too bad to be on this side, right? It's starting not to look too bad to be on this side. What was once deemed as the lame square still kind of is to the public's eye for the culture, so like that, of being lame and square, stuff like this, is actually the safer route, which has kind of always been, and that's where I stay at, man. You know what I'm saying? Get your fun in, man, but get out like as soon as you can, man. It's not, it's not long term. You're gonna get caught eventually, bro. You're gonna get caught up. If you don't get caught by the system, you're going to get caught up by some niggas. Straight up. Point blank, period, man. You're going to care, or you're going to get caught up with a bad, with some bad drugs, man. We've all been there. I done lost some homies to ODs. I done seen some people get very, very hurt off of fucking drugs, Xannies, and stuff like that, you guys, man. So, uh, you know, yeah, I might have got blue hair. Yeah, I got these piercing stuff out here, grills, or whatever. Y'all might say what y'all want to say, but at the end of the day, man, your boy in here for the long run. And I'm just going to see people keep getting locked up and keep getting dying and killing and stuff like that, you know? It is what it is, man. Don't say it. I say, don't say I didn't tell you so, right? Don't get mad when I say I told you so type shit, you know what I mean? Free Pee Wee, man. Mr. Blue Benjamin. Stacking the tip to infinity.